Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com, and today I'm testing and reviewing the S1R Baton from Olight. Here's their website right here. These guys are making some really, really nice flashlights and headlamps, so definitely worth a look at. Alright, so here it is right here. This is the S1R. It's a 900 lumen EDC flashlight and it's rechargeable and it's tiny. So I'm gonna get out of the packaging and I'm gonna show you why it's cool. Then we'll get it outside in a little while and I'll show you how bright it gets. Seriously, that's it. 900 lumen S1R rechargeable flashlight. Look how small this thing is. 900 lumens. So on the tail cap here, apparently there's a little piece of plastic that protects the battery. Yeah, here it is right here, this little guy. Definitely want to make sure you take that off. Here's your rechargeable RCR123A from Olight. Comes with a little wrist tether and a little pin. That's how you're going to get it to go through here so you can add the wrist tether on. Without this little pin, this thing would be almost impossible to get on the uh, to get on the flashlight. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put the wrist tether on. Usually I don't use wrist tethers, I just don't necessarily care for them. But this one, we'll put it on. I can always take it off later. Okay, so there's your wrist tether. And... Something that's really cool is it comes with a nice little Olight soft pouch. Um, you know me, I'm a big fan of branding, and just look at that. I mean, these, this is actually like embroidered. That's stitched in. It does have a removable clip. I like the blue bezels that they always put around their lights here. Let's see if I can get a little closer so you can see that. It's also the same color blue that's around the power button there. And last but not least is it comes with the... Olight recharger and as I said this is a rechargeable flashlight. This cool USB cable. It's a flat cable so USB on one side with the blue and then an Olight rechargeable magnet and this is the recharger so basically just stick this to the end of the flashlight boom like that plug it in and it recharges. That's really cool and the magnet's strong too. Nice little magnet technology, you know it's going to have a great connection no matter what. Alright, so the S1R Baton has six light output modes. It has moonlight, low, medium, high, turbo, and strobe. So there's a lot built into this little tiny flashlight. As I said, look how small this thing is. It disappears in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my lights off just so you can kind of get an idea of how bright this thing gets. And then we'll get it outside later after the sun goes down and I'll show you how bright it really gets at night. Alright, so we'll start with moonlight. And basically what you want to do is you want to put from the off position, you want to push and hold the, the side button switch here for about a second. And then there's moonlight. And it's not much. That's about half a lumen. Hit it again, turns it off. And then you can kind of cycle through, you push and hold it, it'll cycle through the different light output modes. So you can see behind me. Hit it again, turn it off. So it also has a lockout mode. So what you want to do is you, push, you want to push and hold it for two seconds on the off position. And it'll flash once and then turn off. And after you do that, it's going to have a little red battery indicator right there. And then that way you can't, you can't turn it on can't accidentally turn this thing on from you know being in your pack or your pocket or anything like that you want to push and hold it again and it'll turn it back on and then you can you know hit the button and it goes through the different light output modes if you triple click it it goes into strobe so you can also directly access turbo mode by clicking the flashlight twice from the off position there's turbo so there's your 900 lumen output and just the heat coming off of this thing on my hand is pretty crazy so this thing throws out a lot of light. All right, so Moonlight puts out about a half a lumen and will last up to 15 days on a fully charged battery. Low is 12 lumens at about 33 hours runtime. Medium is 60 lumens at about four and a half hours runtime. High is 300 lumens at about an hour's runtime. And then the 900 lumen is about just a little under an hour. That's pretty crazy for a little tiny flashlight like this. Granted, because it has a small battery, it's not gonna last that long. Other flashlights out there last longer, but this is a great little everyday carry 
super powerful flashlight. So it's also IPX8 waterproof rated to two meters and impact resistant to about a meter and a half. So if you drop this thing from, you know, three feet, a little over, it should be fine. You know, you drop this thing in the water, you know, stream crossing, and you accidentally drop it or whatever, it gets submerged. Just know that it's going to be fine. So the S1R Baton also has two timers, uh, so two separate light output modes. So if you need a flashlight for just a short amount of time, like three minutes for the short timer and nine minutes for the long timer, what you do there is, while the flashlight is on, you know, I just have it on low or medium, double click it, that one flash or that dual flash right there indicates the long timer, nine minutes. Do it again, it'll flash once, and that'll do the three minute timer. So while the light's on, hit it, double click it once. One, uh, one single flash will be the short timer. Click it again, double flash, that goes into the long nine minute timer. And you hit it again, turn it off. So if you just need a light for just a little bit of time, and you just, you, you know, you're using it hands free or something like that, you just, you're working, or if you have it clipped to the brim of your hat uh, for nighttime use or anything like that, and you forget about it, you want to turn it off, you can set the timer to turn itself off so it saves battery. So there is a Cree XM L2 uh, LED bulb in here, and you know, Cree is probably the best LEDs on the market, but Olight did a really good job of selecting, you know, high quality LEDs. Nice little reflector on the inside there. There's that little blue ring, same little blue ring around the power button. So nice little flashlight. So I'm gonna get it on my scale. I wanna see how much it weighs with the battery and the wrist lanyard. Weighs two ounces, perfect. Just two ounces exactly. All right, so let's get this thing outside. I'll show you how bright it gets. All right guys, so I'm across the street from my house and I had the S1R Baton from Olight. And this is that 900 lumen little mini tiny flashlight. This thing's a powerhouse and really, really small. So, so I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna go over the different light modes and show you how bright this thing gets. So the backdrop I'm using is a youth softball field dugout from the off position. If you push and hold it, it activates moonlight. That's moonlight. If you can kind of see that on the wall there. It's not very bright at all, but that's another feature. And you push it three times, it goes into strobe. And strobe is ridiculous. Turn it on. There's low. Okay. Pretty decent. Now we have medium. We have high. And then we have turbo. And that's the full 900 lumen powerhouse of a flashlight. And then you, you hold it and it'll cycle through the different light output modes. That's the S1R Baton. Okay guys, so that's my review of the S1R Baton from Olight. So Olight's website is right here. You definitely wanna make sure you check these guys out. As I said, they're making some high quality flashlights and headlamps as well. So definitely worth a look at. So if you like my review and found it informative, you wanna get one of these flashlights for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up here. When you do that, you can donate any number of dollars and that's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So if you like my review, please give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe. Here's the thumbs up button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're gonna stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trail of Mountain's YouTube channel. Another way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, which is trailofmountain.com. When you go there on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see a little pop-up where you can put in your email address and you click submit. When you do that, you're gonna be subscribed to my website and you'll get access to all the exclusive content that's on my website as well. So definitely best way to stay connected on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on here at trailermountain.com. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this flashlight, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Please leave them down in my description box below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. So on a side note, I'm also raising money for charity. We're doing a big through hike of the John Muir Trail, 222 miles. Uh, Backpacker Magazine rated this trail as the most beautiful trail in the world. Uh, as I said, it's 222 miles. We're gonna do it in 14 days, which is 16 mile days. And we're going through the High Sierra. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I've always wanted to do this trail and I thought what better way to give back is to raise money for a great cause, a great charity. And we chose Big City Mountaineers for my buddy Carl's recommendation. And Big City Mountaineers, what they do is they take you know, inner city youth, uh, kids that are troubled, no mom and dad, they don't have a positive role model in their life to show them the right path. 
So what Big City Mountaineers does is they take these kids and they take them out to the backcountry and they teach them, you know, team building skills, life changing skills, give them a positive role model, and they, you know, they show these kids what's what they're capable of. You know, if they're like, they're looking at this summit and they're like, there's no way I'm going to get up to the top of that thing. They show them how to do it. And when they get there, they're like, wow, look at what I accomplished. This is amazing. So it's a great cause, great people, and they do a lot of good in this world. So I set a goal of $10,000 to raise for this charity. So we're on our way on the, you know, donation side of things. We've already had a donation and, you know, things are moving forward. So I'll put a link down in my description box below so you can go right to that website, make your donation. Every donation is tax deductible. Every little bit gets us closer to that $10,000 goal. So I really appreciate all the help and love and support you guys have shown me over the past couple of years. Please get on the website, make a donation. So secondly, a lot of companies that I've tested for is donating a bunch of gear. I'm making a big uh, gift basket that I'm gonna put together for you know for the raffling of the uh, for the for the charity. So stay tuned for a video on that. But I'm putting together a nice gift package for you know a bunch of gear uh, to raise money to help raise money for the charity too. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. And please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.